my goodness. So today I am with my two major crushes who I love you boys so much. It's Duo, the fabulous double guitar sensations. And um, you've been doing this amazing thing, which is gig in your garden. Tell me how you came up with the idea. So obviously the whole country went into a major lockdown. Um, ben and I started doing these live streams every week, mainly as a way to sort of keep busy, wasn't it? Yeah, it keeps busy, keeps people happy. And um, um, and anyway, so one of my one of my close friends, Joanna, she got very very poorly with COVID, um, and she was doing a lot of work with um, the homeless charities, and yeah. we, we were doing live streams. And me and Ben had an idea, and we thought, wouldn't it be nice if we could go and cheer Joanna up and do a gig or something? We could do the live stream from her garden. Um, as a way of sort of saying thanks and, you know, hope you're feeling better. And then this progressed into Gig in Your Garden, as it's known today. I mean, what a brilliant way to honour key and frontline workers and cheer us all up in the process. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. We had a lot of experience, played obviously for a lot of people. And um, yeah, it was great. I remember some good time we played for, um, you know, some junior doctors' wedding. Yeah, they have their, they uh, have their, their first, first dance. dance. Everybody's just really happy. Generally speaking, everybody's really happy to have some music during COVID. So. so were you going to hospitals as well as um, people's houses? This was just going to people's gardens. But one of the people we did visit was a wonderful chap called Eamon, who was the chief nurse at Nightingale Hospital. And we played for his family. And also another gig we did, which was great, we went to a care home down in Southampton. Um, quite an odd setting because there was nobody outside or anything, but they all watched from the balconies and yes. came out. And yeah, it was, it was really nice, yeah. I think it's just uh, such a touching thing to have done and the fact that it sprang from a friend of yours who was really poorly. And so when you couldn't get into people's gardens, you've continued these gigs online every Friday night since March, is that right? Since last March. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're coming up to a year now. So Yeah. Oh my goodness. Are we allowed to know any of the songs that you've got on the album? We have some really recent tracks uh, like Dance Monkey, Bad Guy by Billie Eilish, Despacito. We've got some a bit older tracks, a bit of Rolling Stones, a bit of Adele, and um, and we've got Adele, some Adele. Okay, that's Adele for anyone who doesn't understand what the fuck Ben's talking about. Adele, <laughs> Adele. Adele. We got a really good mix of things, basically. We got yeah, we got some recent pop songs. We got some old pop songs. Um, things like We'll Meet Again, etc. Uh, I mean, you are incredible, you two, because you started out busking didn't you? I mean, you're both classically trained musicians and you both went to the Royal College of, College Music. of Music. Royal Academy. Royal Academy. Royal Academy. Oh, Royal Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Academy. Beg your pardon. Beg your pardon. Um, and then you would just, you'd have like crowds, hundreds and hundreds of people gathering around you. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, that's, that was our bread and butter for... Mm. Yeah, yeah, we ages, just loved it. it. You know, when you, I started to begin to play music and everybody stops and everybody smiles, people sing, people dance. Just people are just generally happy. I mean, it's just a great feeling when you just play music and people are so responsive. For me, there is nothing better than the sound of an acoustic guitar. It's my favourite instrument. Even more than the piano. Sorry, Elton. But even more than the piano. Um, and you are truly gifted. These boys, by the way, they came, they very sweetly came for my daughter's 18th birthday and played and I thought all the kids would be like rolling their eyes and going oh Christ you know old people's music but they loved it of all the, probably 90% of every single thank you letter we got you guys were highlighted and that's from 18 year olds oh, wow. you're going to play us a little track aren't you yeah, well, yeah. We, we are thinking of playing a bit of dance monkey for you okay, okay. a one a two a one two three
of you, your guitars are part of your, they're part of you, they're an extension of you, and you really see that when you're playing. Maybe we spend way too much time with our guitars in our hands. It's been a long, it's been a long <laughs> oh, time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're slapping them a bit like a woman's ass halfway through. <laughs> well, you you really are your superstars, and I wish you so much luck with um, thank you very uh, much gig in your garden. And um, and I understand that proceeds will be um, going towards supporting the Florence Nightingale Foundation, which is just fabulous so it's all the perfect package so please anyone who's listening you need to get this it's going to cheer you up and you will be doing fabulously by supporting a really amazing and vital organization so it's out on the 5th of february gig in your garden by duo get it 